Hey everyone, in this video, uh, we're gonna code CC 2020 Junior 3 in Python. So firstly, uh, we're gonna read the question, and then we're gonna discuss the answer together. Okay, Mahima has been experimenting with a new style of art. She stands in front of, uh, of a canvas and then using her brush, flakes drop on, on uh, off the paint onto canvas. When she thinks she has uh, created a masterpiece, she uses her 3D printer to print the frames to surround the canvas. Your job is to help Mahima by de determining the coordinates of the smallest possible rectangular frame such uh, the, that each drop of paint lies inside the frame. Points on the frame are not considered inside the frame. So you can pause the video to uh, read the question specifically. And uh, right now I'm gonna explain you the, in, uh, the input and the output requirements. So for input, uh, there are two parts. For uh, the first part is a number, uh, a line, and the number is a uh, uh, number of the lines. The number of the lines that uh, we're gonna input later, and um, or we can see the the number of coordinates. And going to output is the uh, smallest rectangular. Uh, shapes that can be determined by two lines and uh, two two coordinates. So we can look more specifically in this graph. So uh, owing to output is uh, two lines here. This one is one, and that one is one too. So um, our requirement is to up two lines. Each line must contain exactly two non-negative integers separated by a single comma. First line represents the coordinate of the bottom left corner of the rectangular frame, as the second one represents the coordinate of the top right corner of the rectangular frame. Well, why we need to output those two lines is because two uh, dots can actually determine the shape of the rectangle. So when we have those two dots, we can just form a rectangle. And this rectangle has to surround all those dots, uh, the input given, which means uh, the bottom left corner will be the smallest x, smallest y, and the top right corner will be biggest, uh, biggest x, biggest y. So one important thing is uh, points on the frame are not considered inside the frame. and. Uh, such that each drop of paint lies, in, lies inside the frame. The question requires us to draw a rectangle that put all the drops of paint inside the frame. So our uh, rectangle has to be at least one unit bigger than the, uh, the dots. Okay, for this video, uh, I'm gonna code in Python. And the big, uh, the big idea of this question is just like, when we are taking inputs, where we just uh, find the smallest x, smallest y, biggest x, biggest y, and then we output them. Okay, let's get into the code. So at first we need create four variables, mm. and we don't need int again. So as it is mentioned in the question, x is smaller than 100 and y is smaller than 100 as well. So let's just put big x to 0, and big y 0 as well, small x to 100, y, small y. A hundred uh, and uh, and one. You know, I'm gonna put hundred and two. And 
make to one. So after we do that, we're gonna use a for loop. Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna take the input for now. Input. And for i in range no we're gonna have each uh we're gonna have take in each line split it by comma and uh so our current line uh, uh, field is uh, a, a string of a uh, array of string, so we need to take out elements in, in it. So let's call it current x and uh, current y. Current x equals to current lines uh, zeros element, first element on index zero. So int because we need to transfer it to int. Uh, we need to cast it to int because it is a string element. And if any of the uh, if the current x is bigger than uh, big x, big x. Bigger or equals n. Big x equals to current x plus one. If current x smaller or equals to small x, so the current uh, so the small x equal uh, equals to current x minus one. Same goes to current y and y field. You just copy them. So the reason we are plusing and minusing one is because we have to make our frame one unit bigger than all those dots or one unit smaller so we can uh, surround them without touching them and after we go through this process we could just print uh, our answer so the bottom goes first bottom, le uh, bo bottom left corner goes first and bottom uh, uh, and top right go uh, corner goes second Okay, I think we have already finished our code. Let's run it with the sample inputs. Oh, well, it seems that we run into some issue. So maybe we should cast them. Yeah, and it, as you can see, 23, 9, 65, 79, it, it's correct. And we can draw it in our grader. Yeah, it's Python. And as you can see, also test passes. So uh, let's do some summary of this question. I think it is important to uh, to keep the our solution simple, and we need to take out important messages from the question. So essentially, we need to have the skill of 
uh, knowing that the output is just four numbers, smallest x, smallest y, biggest x, biggest y. So in this graph, we can see uh, bottom left corner uh, x coordinate is one unit smaller than the smallest x coordinate in in the uh, in, within among the the pins. And the top right from corner is one unit bigger than uh, the biggest x uh, coordinate of pin or biggest y coordinate of the pin. So after that, we all we need to do is to uh, to get the smallest x, smallest y, biggest x, biggest y as we are processing those input. And uh, there's another advice for you is to use Python for uh, for junior question, uh, first field junior question because there's no sp uh, really strict time limit for them. And uh, Python, you can just code faster. Okay, thank you for watching. S uh, see you in the next video. Bye.